Hi everybody, Johnny here. Let's make a game together. For this game we'll need some paper, something to write with, a ruler, a couple of playing pieces, and some cards. If you want to work from one deck of cards, all the black cards, no kings or queens, and all the red cards, no kings or queens. The aces will be worth one, and the jacks can be any number you want them to be. They'll be wild cards. And what else do we need? Oh, we'll need a bear. Let's go ahead and make our board game now. What we'll need to start with are the ruler, the pencil, and the paper. I'm going to turn it like this. And I'm going to be measuring in centimeters, but you can use inches as well. For the centimeter measures, what I want is I want to start near the bottom, and I want to make a mark at 1, and then at 5 centimeters and 6 centimeters. Then I want to go up to 10 centimeters, make a mark, and one more, 11, 10 and 11. Same at 15 centimeters and 16 centimeters, and one more mark at 20. Then we want to go to the other side and do the same thing. Starting down low, 1 centimeter, and then 5 and 6, and then 10 centimeters and 11 centimeters, 15 and 16 centimeters, and then 20. Now we'll turn it and we're just going to make lines to go across. So I'll start here at the bottom and work my way up. These don't have to be perfect. They are guidelines for the game that we'll follow. So there's one line, another line here, pushing this up, another line, going on up, here's another, and then another, and then another, two more, this one, and then the last. These will help us make our board game. Put the ruler away now, we don't need it anymore. We won't need the pencil either. Now what I want to do is add some fractions on these lines. I'm going to start down here and about right here. I'm going to write the fraction 1 fourth and next to it 1 third. And then about right here 1 half and then 2 thirds, 3 fourths and then just one hole. You could put one over one if you want to. Now in the next tier, above this one, let's go ahead and put four eighths and then let's skip a space right here and let's go ahead and put in two sixths and then nearby two eighths and then about right here let's go ahead and put five fifths three fourths and then four sixths on the next tier up, let's go ahead and put three fourths about right here, and then next to it, three sixths, seven sevenths, and then let's go ahead and put one third about right here, skip a space, and by right here, let's go ahead and put two thirds, and then one fourth, and then up here, let's see, we want to skip a space here. Let's go ahead and put four sixths right here and then two eighths, six eighths, nine ninths, five tenths, and let's see, last one will be two sixths. Now what I want to do is draw a ladder. So at this point right here, I want to make two lines on either side of the one-third. They should look something like this. And let's put a couple rungs here. And let's go up here, five-fifths, the same thing. Let's put a line on either side. Make a good ladder. A few rungs along the way. That looks good. And then here with the three-fourths, same thing. A line on either side, like this, and a few rungs. And the last one is the two sixths. 
a line on either side, and then a few rungs. Okay, that's a great start. Now we need some doorways. Now I'm going to start here and I'm going to make some wavy lines look like this. I'm going to make a line that comes across like that and I'm going to put some lines like this. That looks good. We'll put one here. Put another one over here and this one's going to be a pervy doorway. Again, the lines don't have to be perfect. Let's go ahead and make that line coming across. Let's go ahead and put some lines to make it dark in the background. You decide how dark you want it to be. And then how about a narrow door right next to this ladder? Again, it could be a smallish doorway. And some darkness going back into the background. And we'll put one more. Make a curvy door right here line coming across, some darkness in the background. That's all great. What do we need now? Oh, we need the floors. So let's go ahead and join the floor like this. Now watch how I do these lines. These lines are just ideas of lines. They don't have to be really, really, so, really solid. This line above, though, can have little cracks in it, like it's broken somehow. You can make that go all the way along. A little bit of a line right here. Shell the floor again. Join it with the door right here. We can go ahead and make the broken line again. All along. And just join the door right here. And then just the idea of a line right here. Up here, the broken line again. You can make it as much broken as you as broken as you want it to be. A little bit of a line here. Join the door. And a little bit of a line up here too. Okay. Something missing. Oh I know what it is. We need this. Make a curve over here. Maybe a couple circles. Something like that. Maybe something like this. Oh, good. How about one over here, too? Let's make its friend right here. A couple arms coming out. Looks great. How about a funny one here? What if we put a real tall, narrow one? Maybe this one only has one eye. And maybe only one tooth. That's good. And one more right here. What have we got here? Oh, this must be the boss. Maybe this one has the extra eye. And a few teeth as well. Looks good. Oh, we need one more thing. The very top up here, let's go ahead and put a castle with some turrets, some walls, and maybe a gate, maybe a tower in the top as well. This is the escape place. This will be safe. Now let's give this game a name. And we'll call this Fraction Raider. That looks good. I'm going to move the game board a little bit over here. So let's go ahead and play the game. We'll take these two pieces. It'll be blue and red playing. They'll start at this opening door. Could have more players if we want. 
I'm going to set out the cards face down over here. This will be red. These black cards will be for blue. And I'm going to set out cards for making fractions. So for red, it's 4, 5, 9, and 4. Thinking about what fractions and fractional equivalents we can make with those. For blue, it will be 9, ace, which is worth 1. So 9 and 1, and 3, and a jack. Red will go first. Red's looking at all the possibilities here. Four fifths is not possible. Four ninths not so great, but four fourths looks really good. Four fourths is the same as one, and so red gets to play, and will stay at this position for right now. Take these cards off, put out two new ones, and we'll go to blue's turn. Blue looks at all the cards and is thinking, you know what? I really want the one third because one third will allow me to go up to the next tier. Looking here could make it with 1 and 3, but it's much better to save the jack for later. So 1 third allows blue to go to this place and move up one tier. Reds and will place two new cards, and it will be red's turn. Red's looking at all the possibilities here. 3 thirds is the same as 1 which would let red stay in the same place. Red wouldn't have to go off the board. But 3 ninths, 3 ninths is the same as, what is 3 ninths the same as? Oh, it's the same as 1 third. So red gets to go to 1 third, climb the ladder, and stand alongside blue. This is the only time when the two pieces can occupy the same space. If red were on 2 eighths or 1 half, then blue couldn't occupy the same space, but only at the top of the ladder can they share the same space. So red's happy with that one. We'll take one third away, three ninths away, and put out two new cards. It's blue's turn. Blue's looking at all the possibilities here and sees that five fifths is the one that matters. Blue also knows that nine is not such a great number. So using one of the wild cards, blue's going to make nine ninths. 9 ninths is equal to a whole, is the same as 5 fifths. And so blue's going to move to here and then climb to the next tier. Take away these two cards, put out two new ones. It's red's turn, looking at all the possibilities here. 2 sixths is the same as 1 third, and that's this space right here. 2 thirds is also a possibility. And 2 thirds is the same as 4 sixths, so that's a possibility. Red decides to do that. 2 thirds, same as 4 sixths, the equivalent fraction. Take these away, and red will move to this space to be safe. Two new cards go out. It's blue's turn. Blue is trying to find a way to make 3 fourths. Two fifths won't do that. What's another way to make three fourths? Oh, blue is so lucky here. Think about this eight. What if the this jack was a six? Six eighths. Six eighths makes three fourths, and blue gets to go up to the next tier. We'll replace this card. Two new cards. It's red's turn. Red's lucky because five tenths is the same as 4 eighths. And that's a good safe place to be for now. Put out two new cards. Lucky Jack there. Blue's looking at the cards possible here. 5 eighths, not so great. 2 fifths, 3 fifths. But 2 thirds, 2 thirds is the same as 4 sixths. So this is a good safe space for blue. So we'll take these two away and put out two new cards. It's red's turn. Red would really like to get to five fifths and move up a tier. What's good about this is there's a jack here. Now red's going to play smart knowing that seven is not a good number in this game to make fractions. So red might as well make this seven sevenths, keeping the six and the eight for the next round. You see what six and eight might do for the next level? So red goes, to play, goes ahead and plays 7 sevenths, moves here. 7 sevenths is equal to a whole, so it's 5 fifths, and gets to go up a tier. We'll take these away, and we'll put these two new cards out. 
good cards again. Now we look at Blue's cards. Blue's got kind of a problem here. There is no equivalent to one eighth or one fifth or one ninth. There is no equivalent for five eighths or five ninths. Poor Blue. Blue cannot make any equivalent fractions on any one of these here. So Blue is going to be chased by the monster through the door because Blue can't make any of these fractions and has to go down to the next tier low. And all of these cards, because none of them can be used, all of them will be discarded and four new ones will be put out. And these look like better cards. The game will continue until one player makes it all the way up these ladders to the safety of the castle. This is the game Fraction Raider, and for this game you needed some paper, something to write with, a ruler, playing pieces, playing cards with jacks as wild cards and aces as ones, and what else? Oh, you need a bear. Enjoy this game.